Yo, yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know anything we bring on the channel. It's got the heat, got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is so different, guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. You make up. This one is called Persistence. Guys, Persistence is leveraging blockchain technology to facilitate seamless asset exchanges. They use Web 3.0 protocols. Persistent aims to enable and create a suite of bleeding edge financial products in niches ranging from staking as a service and tokenized real world debt to digital art. This is their homepage up in front of me right here guys and they say that they are building the bridge. The protocol powering next generation financial products. Persistence guys is operating at the confluence of NFTs, DeFi and POS staking. They already have a suite of four plus products which include their Comdex, Audit One, P-Stake, P-Lend and Asset Mantle. We'll be going over that in further detail guys but for now let's go over what they review as their focus on their website. Of course decentralized finance is there guys. It enables users to interact with both traditional and digital assets in an open and global context. Non-fungible tokens. These are NFTs guys. These are making real world and digital assets such as invoices, collectibles and art more accessible. They're proof of stake. They're creating products to generate opportunities and adjust challenges around the novel POS consensus mechanism in a multi-chain environment. So what are they building? Well guys, I touched on that briefly just now, but the Comdex is here guys. The Comdex for NFTs guys is an institutional facing commodities trading and trade financing platform. They've handled over $55 million in transaction volume. They actually have a separate website for that guys and it's right here it's comdex.sg and what they say is that they're powering trade with speed transparency and trust in commodities trade and trade finance they talk about the shorter trade cycles establishing credibility and trust organized trade workflows and reduced legal processes the next one guys is audit.1 this one is a pos staking staking as a service infrastructure guys they have currently over 200 million in assets under management again there is a separate website for this as well guys audit.1 and this one they claim that they're the validators of today and the auditors of tomorrow when they explain Explain why you should trust Audit One. They have a decentralized infrastructure guide, state of the art security, and 24 7 online. I'd encourage you guys to check out their website in further detail if it's something that you're interested in. The next product is their P Stake product. This is a DeFi and POS staking product, guys. Liquid staking product unlocking liquidity of staked assets. They have a Twitter page for this one, guys, and it's P Stake. Dot finance. They already have over 500 followers, guys, and I'd encourage you to shoot them a follow, hit them with some questions if you're interested in their product. Next one, guys, is the P Lend, which again is DeFi related. This stablecoin lending platform backed by real world assets. And the last one, guys, is Asset Mantle. This is for NFTs, interoperable NFT marketplace framework, enabling the creation of a Shopify style NFT marketplace. Again, guys, they have a Twitter page for that over 190 followers there and they say that they're the shopify of nfts this one i think is going to be really big guys again they have a lot of working products and it's very intriguing to people who are looking to get in early. So, when we look at who's backing Persistence, well guys, they have a bunch of venture funds that they boast on their website here, like Arrington Capital, XRP Capital, Loon X, Woodstock, AU21 Capital, Spark, NGC Ventures, Three Commas, Encrypt. Some of their validators, Dokia Capital, Cosmo Station, SG1, Figment, Bee Harvest, Sika, Stake with us, Hash Quark, Certus One, etc. And of course, the ecosystem, Alameda Research, Terra, Interchange. 
They have a fairly large blog section as well, guys. I'd encourage you guys to check that out if it's something that you're interested in. Read up on the articles. We are going to be going over some of their news articles that they have been seen in. For instance, Cointelegraph, Coindesk, Finance Magnets, Chain News, Deal Street Asia, etc. Sliding over to their Medium page here, guys. They have a lot of good articles, which I mentioned. This one that I wanted to touch on is how persistence is ushering in a new era of next generation financial products this one guys was published on february 22nd about a month ago it's about a 10 minute read as well and when we look at what kind of things they talk about they talk about data flowing like water digital assets will flow like water tomorrow so again they're paving the way guys they're leveraging blockchain technology to facilitate seamless asset exchanging using web 3.0 protocols there is a little video guys i want to play that for you just so we could get a better grasp of what they're all about. Super lit video by the team guys. I really like how they explain their product to us in several different ways and how we can benefit from it. Regarding the rest of this article guys, they give a nice overview of what their platform's all about, their tech stack, all of their features that we can look forward to. They also give another video on where they share their market momentum and institutionalization. Check that out if it's something that interests you. They also go over P Lend as well as Audit One, P Stake, Asset Mantle, all of their working products that they're coming out with, as well as the role of XPRT. Next article I want to touch on, guys, is on CoinDesk. Huge news article, guys. You guys know CoinDesk is one of my favorite and one of the most predominant news outlets for cryptocurrency here in this day and age. The title of this one, Indian Trade Finance Startup Raises 3.7 Million in Token Sale Led by Arrington XRP. In this article, guys, they go over all of the history regarding persistence, their token sale, how much money they made, guys. 3.7 million, which was led by Arrington XRP. And again, Alameda Research was in there, guys, along with most of their supporters. And they go over everything that's going on with this platform and things that we can look forward to. Shout out to all my students, guys. I love you. Group hug. Shout out to the Crypto Class Gang. Shout out to the Lambo Gang. Shout out to the Whale Gang. Shout out to the Huddle Gang. Thank you for always your continued support, guys. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash a like button for me and drop a comment in the comment section below. Please remember, guys,
guys, we are an impartial channel, so whether your opinion is negative or positive, we'd be more than happy to hear it. That being said, guys, class is now dismissed. We'll see you in our next video. Professor Crypto out. <laughs>